Gemma entered a haunted house to take pictures. But suddenly, someone closed the door and locked her inside. She spent the whole day in total darkness. Then, the lights turned on, and a creepy clown appeared in front of her. There's a game I want to play with you, he said. The clown offered Gemma three bowls of soup. Two of them are poisoned, and one is safe. If she chooses the safe one, the clown will set her free. Can you help Gemma to make a wise choice? Ingredients in the first soup look like pills. The second soup contains suspicious blue carrots. Probably these are not safe. Therefore, the green one is safe. Can you find a hidden number in this picture? That's right, it's 9175. Can you find a hidden number in this picture? That's right, it's 341. But I'm sure you'll manage to spot a hidden number in this picture. Well done, it's 900. Take a look at this picture. Can you spot the owner of this dog? The red-haired lady is the owner of the dog. Take a look at the dog's collar. It has a picture of the owner. Paul worked in a large company. He left the office to have lunch one day, but he didn't find his car in the parking lot. He immediately called the police. The police soon found the car and started to chase the criminal. But the criminal left the car and ran to the park. The police caught three suspects. Jill said she was jogging in the park. Peter was waiting for his girlfriend, and Amy was walking and enjoying nature. Who stole the car? Amy, although she was enjoying nature, she had the same key that had gone missing. Can you find a hidden dice among all these pieces of cheese? It's over here. Although it looks like cheese, you better watch your teeth. Take a look at this pattern. Can you spot an odd detail? This bunch has more grapes than the others. Let's dive into the water for a while. The bottom of the ocean is full of life, but can you see any fish? It's hiding over here. Here's an eye challenge to read a blurred quote. Can you see this phrase? It says, well done is better than well said. Can you spot a panda and a soccer ball among all these snowmen? The ball is over here, and the panda is hiding in the right corner. Look at this picture very attentively. Can you see anything dangerous in this picture? A snake is hiding in the bushes. One morning, Dan went to work as usual. He was a professional athlete and had a lot of awards. When he got back home, he found out that his most valuable trophy was gone. His gold medal was stolen. He called the police to report the missing medal. The detective interrogated Bob's neighbor and found four suspects, Rick, Tom, Sarah, and Molly. Each neighbor was carrying a house plan. Who robbed Dan? It was Sarah. 
Look, the house plan matches his house perfectly. Josh ordered some delicious sushi for a picnic outdoors. Look at the picture carefully. Can you spot any odd components in this meal? There's a green caterpillar in here. See? It probably fell from a tree. I wouldn't recommend eating that anyway. Someone painted the entire playground in the park with graffiti. The police questioned three suspects. The detective didn't tell them what he had suspected them of. He asked one simple question. What are you doing in this park? Robert said he was going to the birthday of his friend who lives near the park. Rick was looking for his missing dog who had run away this morning. And Derek was just having lunch in the park. He didn't see any graffiti artists. Who is suspicious? Derek. The detective didn't say anything about the graffiti. But Derek already started defending himself. Can you find the hidden gold coin? It's over here in the left corner. Look at this pattern very attentively. Can you spot anything odd? Someone has bitten this banana. Can you find the right shadow? The correct answer is D. Can you see any numbers on this picture? The correct answer is 1479. Look at these ladies. They all look nice, but the one you choose will tell you something about your personality. If you choose the first lady, you're very friendly and easygoing. Some people may think you're too naive, but you're just a very sensitive and curious person who sees life as an adventure. If you chose the second lady, you're a very loyal and passionate person. When you're in love, you become invincible. If you chose the third lady, it means you love to have fun and nothing can confuse you or make you feel down. Take a look at this picture. Can you spot a person who's in the safest position? The guy in the car is the safest. What number do you see in this picture puzzle? Number 517. Ryan wants to get a job at the museum. He successfully passed the interview, but his employer gave him a final test. Help Ryan determine which portrait is antique. This guy is wearing a fitness tracker, so he's probably not from the Middle Ages. The lady looks very authentic, but take a look at this lamp. Therefore, the portrait of this mysterious old man is original. Good job, Ryan. You're hired. Can you spot a penguin among the toucans? This guy over here. Jack and Jill just moved into a new house. While they were unpacking their boxes, the doorbell rang. They opened the door and saw three neighbors standing on the porch. Kitty brought cupcakes, Mrs. Green brought soup, and Amber brought an apple pie. Help Jill and Jack identify the safe neighbor. Kitty's cupcakes contain cockroaches. Amber's cake seems to have some pills hidden in the apples. Therefore, Mrs. Green with her strange soup is the most harmless neighbor. Can you find...
Time is up. It's over here. Tino was preparing a birthday dinner in the kitchen. An hour later, her friend found her unconscious on the floor. She called the ambulance and the police arrived to question witnesses. The detective discovered three clues, one sneaker, one glove, and one slipper. Then he asked the witnesses to describe what they were doing while Tina was preparing the dinner. Soon, the detective found out who poisoned Tina. How did he know? Tina left a left shoe, left glove, and left slipper. She was trying to show that the poisoner was left-handed. What's wrong with this picture? If you saw a raccoon walking on two legs first, you're probably a very intelligent and strong-willed person. Friends can always count on your loyalty. If you promise something, you'll never break your word. If you spotted two sons first, you're a very calm and open-minded person. You prefer to avoid drama and unnecessary attention. But people come to you for advice and support because you view this world as a whole, and your opinions are sage and impartial. If you noticed a tree blooming in the middle of winter, it means that you're a very romantic and sentimental person. You feel the beauty of this world very intensely, and you need an environment that will nourish your soul and appreciate your uniqueness. With this kind of support, you can easily make this world a better place. You know, scientists claim that the way your brain perceives and analyzes information can reveal a lot about your personality. Look at each of these optical illusions for a couple of seconds. What you see first can say a lot about who you are. Number 1. If the first thing you saw was a tree, you tend to pay too much attention to details, but you're great at feeling the mood of other people. It makes you a tactful and empathetic person. And if you spotted a couple facing each other, you're logical, calm, and rational. You know how to reason with people, even when they're upset or nervous. Number 2. If you saw a car in this picture, you treasure your freedom. You like it when things go according to your plan. That's why it's often hard for you to make fast decisions. If you thought it was a man holding binoculars, you don't usually pay too much attention to details. Instead, you focus on the big picture. But maybe you notice the letter A first. Then you have a rare ability to spot things other people miss. You're extremely intuitive and can think outside the box. Numero tres. If the first thing you see in the picture is two thumbs, you're a great leader and an excellent organizer. You're ready to take responsibility, and you understand what consequences your actions will have. And if you spotted an eruption, you have an altruistic personality. You're interested in people and want to help them. And here's number four. If it's a monkey you notice first, that's my picture. No, actually, you're an independent person. It's crucial for you to have some personal space. If you saw a tiger, you don't mind taking risks. You believe nothing is impossible if you try hard enough. 5. If the first thing you saw was several trees in front of a sunset, you're very perceptive and easygoing. If you spotted a feline's face, you're a determined person. You always stick to the decisions you make and move toward your goal no matter what. 6. If the first thing you noticed in this image was an outline of a face, you're likely to be an introvert. You don't like noisy parties. They make you feel worn out, both physically and emotionally. If you saw a saxophonist, you're more extroverted. You love socializing, and people fall all over themselves to make friends with you. But remember to rest and not to burn out. 7. If you only saw some nature in this image, your life is full of different events at the moment. You don't like routine, choosing to mix up your activities. This way, you'll never do the same stuff several days in a row. If you noticed a face hidden in this image, it's facing the bottom of the frame. You're an organized person. You find it hard to live without a plan. It makes you feel unsafe. 8. 
If you saw zebras more clearly, you love talking and enjoy being surrounded by people. Making new acquaintances is your hobby. You don't like following boring routines. If it was a lion that stood out in the image, you prefer a calmer lifestyle. You'd rather spend some quality time with your few trusted friends and your family. Having too many people around drains your energy, which makes you avoid crowded places. 9. If you saw a face in this image, you're approachable and laid back. People feel that you care. That's why they often unload their problems on you. But maybe the first thing you paid attention to was someone waving a magic wand at a kneeling figure. Then you're an ambitious person. Whatever you do, you gotta do it better than others. 10. If it was a cat that stood out in the image, you probably don't like changes. People know they can rely on you. At the same time, you tend to keep your feelings and emotions in check. If you saw a face, you're a creative person. You love learning new things. And your intuition helps you find opportunities literally everywhere. If the first thing that jumped out at you was a cliff, you can tackle pretty much any problem. All thanks to your positive outlook on life. Number 11. Is it a large, serious cat in the image? Then you're a realist when it comes to life. You see the big picture, and it helps you deal with problems. But if it's a mouse that caught your attention, you're an optimist. You try to find something positive in any situation. And in most cases, you succeed. 12. If you saw a woman's face in this picture, you often rely on your intuition. And it doesn't usually let you down. You're also attentive to what's happening in the world around you. But what if you focused on flowers? Then you're someone who often feels the need to slow down and relax in nature. 13. If a cute round face was what you noticed first, you're a sensitive and friendly person. You don't like conflicts and try to deal with disagreements in a peaceful way. If you paid attention to two birds, you're cheerful and outgoing. You love meeting new people. 14. If you saw an elephant, you're loyal to your friends and respectful to your family. People like your friendly and considerate personality. They also appreciate what a great listener you are. If you paid attention to a small village, you're quite traditional. You prefer a peaceful and simple lifestyle over a city bustle. 15. If it was the pillars that attracted your attention, you value comfort and security. It can be hard for you to break out of your comfort zone. If the image of two people popped out at you, your life is never dull. Curious and adventurous, you're ready to change your surroundings at the drop of a hat. So, somebody drop a hat. Whoops, there you go. 16. If you noticed a woman first, you have an analytical and thoughtful mind. You tend to be practical, which some people mistake for being cold-hearted. If you first saw an old man, you have a sensitive and compassionate personality. You're also creative and artistic. 17. Did you see two crocodiles facing each other? Then you always try to be in control of every situation in your life. If you noticed a bird first, you don't mind following instructions coming from other people. It doesn't mean you don't have your own opinion, but you're always ready to find a middle ground. 18. If you paid attention to a lady's face first, your brain's right hemisphere is developed better than the left one. You're an artistic person with high emotional intelligence. And if you saw a man playing the saxophone, your left brain. Logic is your strong suit. You excel at analytical thinking and numbers. 19. If you first spotted a crocodile, you're likely quite practical and prefer to avoid risks. Sometimes, you tend to focus on negative things happening around you. So don't forget to relax and enjoy life. If you noticed a boat with two people in it sailing along the river, you have a great eye for details. You have a creative personality and can find a way out of any tricky situation. 20. If you saw a young woman, 
you have a joyful and optimistic personality. You perceive things in a positive light, but sometimes you can be too impulsive. If you noticed an old woman first, you have a lot of life experience. It helps you look at all situations from various perspectives. 21. Did you spot a duck first? Quack. Then you're a highly intuitive, creative type with a rich imagination. If the first thing you noticed was a rabbit, you have outstanding analytical skills. You must be great at writing, reading, and figuring out logical solutions to all kinds of problems. 22. If you saw a squirrel, you're great at analyzing things. Your logical thinking helps you process facts and find solutions amazingly fast. If what jumped out at you at first was a duck, your talents are more on the creative side of things. 23. Most people spot a frog in this image right away. If you're one of them, you're self-confident and thus relaxed. You communicate with others in a direct, honest, and sincere way. And if you saw a horse, you're always trying to get to the deeper meaning of things. You have your own opinion, and nothing people say can sway it. 24. If it was a candlestick that attracted your attention first, you usually see a situation as a whole. Only after figuring out the big picture, you spring into action. And if you notice two faces first, you have the ability to concentrate on details. It's extremely important for you to surround yourself with positive people and get their support.